Good morning. For the next couple of minutes, we're going to talk about uh, a peculiar issue that we face on job sites that can lead to an electrocution. Uh, this has to do with the missing ground plug. Now, as you look at a power cord, uh, you will see that it has, uh, typically, if it's a 110, has two straight uh, connectors that come out and then there's a third one that comes out and it's a round one. That's your ground plug or your ground pin. Um, so when you see that, if a power cord or a uh, electrical hand tool is in good shape, it will have uh, the two straight tines that come out and then the ground plug. The exception to that is if something is double insulated, then it just has the two. But if it, has, it is double insulated, it will show you that on the side of the tool. It will be there on the label so you can tell the difference. However, if you see uh, where there are two legs that come out uh, of a plug and then the round one should be there but is missing, you know that that's a defective cord. Now, uh, how big a problem is this? Is this a big deal? Well, it can be. Uh, a missing third prong from an electrical plug uh, resulted in the uh, death of a, a worker. He was climbing down a ladder, uh, climbing up a ladder rather to hand a power tool to another worker when he received uh, a fatal shock. Investigators found that the extension cord was missing the grounding prong. Uh, the grounding wire and the frame of the drill were being electrified off and on by the energizing wire. So the, and the drill was not double insulated, as I was describing to you earlier. Uh, so the net result of that was that this uh, person died because a ground prong was missing. So you've probably been told many times about the dangers of using uh, defective electrical equipment. Uh, if you have used such equipment and got away with it, well, consider yourself very, very well off. You've gotten away with something uh, that could have been a very potentially hazardous and even fatal hazard. So your story could have turned out very tragically uh, as it did for this particular worker that we're discussing. So remember to inspect a power tool before you use it. If you find signs of damage or wear, discard it or turn it in for repair, depending on uh, whether it can be repaired by a qualified person. Don't attempt electrical repairs unless you're trained and qualified to uh, make them and don't make alterations such as removing the third prong so that you can plug it into a two prong outlet or an extension cord. Uh, this is something I want to bring to your attention. Uh, we see this very often on job sites, uh, cords here and there, uh, very often with the third prong, uh, the ground prong taken out of them or sometimes they get pulled out uh, or, or somehow uh, removed. So just be aware of that. Recognize that it is a genuine and a significant hazard and uh, address it if you find it on your job site. Thanks very much.